The video addresses a fascinating logistical challenge. Can one successfully build a fully functional Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra using only inexpensive, individual components sourced from AliExpress, ultimately hoping to undercut the average $500 price of a certified refurbished unit? The process required ordering numerous packages containing every necessary part, starting with the expensive, high-quality rear and front camera modules, along with a specialized S-Pen that was immediately suspected of lacking Bluetooth capabilities. The most critical component was undoubtedly the motherboard, the brain of the phone, costing $174 Canadian dollars, which was subjected to careful scrutiny to ensure it was a clean pull rather than a heavily repaired board that might fail prematurely. The builder also sourced a vital display and frame assembly, a non-OEM Amook LCD unit, which, while expensive, carried the risk of low quality. The complex assembly began with careful installation of the charging port and the battery, which thankfully included pre-applied adhesive. The delicate process continued with seating the motherboard, connecting numerous fragile flex cables, and installing the integrated wireless charging and speaker module. A minor, unexpected complication arose when the earpiece speaker had to be sourced separately, adding a small delay and extra cost to the tally. Despite the inherent skepticism of relying on a disparate collection of cheap global parts, the moment of truth arrived, and the custom-built S22 Ultra successfully powered on. However, functional and aesthetic flaws were immediately apparent. The replacement screen had very ugly, disproportionately large bezels that significantly compromised the phone's sleek appearance. Deeper testing using Samsung's diagnostics confirmed two specific functional failures. The phone's vibration motor was completely non-functional, preventing haptic feedback, and the budget S Pen indeed lacked Bluetooth capability, limiting its utility to a basic stylus without air actions. Despite these notable hiccups, the experiment was ultimately declared a definitive success because the total build cost came out to approximately 402 Canadian dollars, making the custom build phone roughly $100 cheaper than purchasing a fully certified refurbished unit. The video concluded that for those willing to tolerate the screen's appearance and the minor functional issues, building a high-end phone from cheap global parts is indeed a viable, cost-effective option.